Charlie can be very kind of innocent and childlike as somebody who kind of gets lost in the clouds every once in a while. He's really a fun kid. He's the only kid that I can talk to about musicals. He's adapted and he makes good eye contact and he smiles and he makes friends and eats stuff like that. So he's moving beyond your kind of general autism thing. My name is Charlie Garcia Hernandez. Yeah. Okay. I like to go like to a lot of places. Like I like going to Six Flags, Disney, and that's very fun. And I like going to school because it's fun. Because I get to be with my best bud. Sometimes too social. <laughs> he loves people. He really does. He likes being around people. Um, he enjoys. He just—he's a people person. He likes people. He wants to know what's going on, and, and he wants to know everybody. No smiles. Here's a smile. I'll be at Target with him, and then a red shirt at Target. You know, one of the employees there will be like, "Hey, Charlie, Charlie," and I'll look around like, "Socket in my Charlie." And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, cash money, like, <laughs> and he, they, he knows everybody. So he's like, everybody at school knows him. He's a pretty popular guy. I am a special education teacher teach students with moderate to severe disabilities and the reason I became a teacher was because I have two children who are on the spectrum including Charlie. Pablo and I uh, foster adopted which means we had to go through some classes and um, we decided very early on in our relationship that we were going to have children and uh, we took some courses and we were certified to be foster parents with the plan to adopt and Charlie and his brother Gabriel came to us through a foster agency. Aside from all that, just being a dad and, and being gay, um, I, didn't, I grew up at not ever believing that being a dad was something that was possible for me, right? So getting the boys in my life, um, it completely changed me. So Charlie uh, was diagnosed with autism in fifth grade. My field experience in my senior year was working with autistic kids. And so I got really used to dealing with the, the kinds of behaviors and the kinds of um, challenges that people with autism face because I dealt with it every day. It was a 40 hour a week job. Poster to show us the order of the, the yes, Charlie. Can I go inside? Just to take a breather. He tries, he can get a little frustrated, and things are hard for him, and, and he definitely doesn't like when it's hard for him. You know, Charlie has a hard time crossing the street sometimes, and, you know, he's 16 years old, and a 16-year-old, you know, a neurotypical 16-year-old should be able to cross the street. You have to be very careful, um, because he can't gauge distances. So if a car may be like, you know, um, with an eye, you can see it with your eye, but it's like so far away, um, and he can't gauge whether or not it's safe for that for him to, to cross. You know, even though even though that car is like really really far away, you have to say it's okay. You can cross. You've got plenty of time <laughs> before that car gets here. When I was little, <clears throat> and my mom had me, she was like like shaking me too hard and she just couldn't take care of me. Oh, it's like when I say hi to someone like in the morning, it's like, oh, there's something wrong with that kid. I'm like, oh my God, that's really f***ed up. But how do you, like, how do you deal with that? You just... I just ignore it. A place. 
Because I meant to put plays, but instead of plays, I put fours. <laughs> there were a few incidences uh, at a previous school down the street where he felt like he was being bullied. In a public space, he'll speak very loud, but then he'll speak in, in kind of the plain truths that like three or four year olds do sometimes where they'll just say like, wow, she's really big. And he'll say that really loud. You know what I mean? Where, where uh, any of us, would, when you're friends, sometimes you'll go like, oh my God, look at that man's weird sweater. But you whisper to your friends. Yeah. Like, oh my God, look at that guy's weird sweater. And Charlie will still be like, that's a weird sweater. And he'll say it really loud in a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is from Minecraft? <laughs> it can't be, is it? Oh my god, it is. You have two dads with their own issues, two gay dads, and then two young men with special needs. <laughs> Autism. So we're just like the island of misfit toys, you know, from Santa Claus is coming to town. We're just this funny island, and every one of us is like a total misfit. So it, I think it bonds us, and it makes us a stronger family.